try to take over the land But we won't be moved by the monsters of man We gon' fall down, we gon' stand Hey, cause I see them fall I see them fall I see the change coming soon, dog. Man, I seen it all I seen it all Giants, they stand tall for a minute But I seen the goal I seen the goal Looking down on me like I'm finished with them Yo, what's up? Welcome back. I haven't done one of these in a while. I'm usually sat at the desk and like we got this whole thing and I've missed you. Recently in the last couple days, I've just been going back into uh, my old card moves and just sort of revisiting some old flourishes I used to do and I miss it. I miss uh, I miss shooting playing cards. I miss shooting tutorials. I miss performing and all of that. And I guess just in the last year, it's it's been tough to get back into it, especially being so isolated from everyone else. And then, you know, you get caught up in business and then all this stuff, but hey. So this is actually, I believe, the first download that I purchased from Theory 11. Theory 11 is a website where they sell playing cards and magic tricks. They do all the uh, Star Wars and Marvel collabs and 007 and things like that. And I remember this download by Eric Sematis was just one of my f I think it was the first download ever that I got from Theory 11. So that was 10 years ago. I hit up Eric on Instagram and you guys should really check him out. Do me a favor. He let me teach this as well as the people over at Theory 11. They let me teach this on a channel for you guys for free. So to support Eric, maybe check out the link in the description to his Instagram. Eric, uh, he's literally an insane cardist. If you look at his cardistry moves here, you can see this guy is an absolute beast with cardistry uh, and he hasn't posted in a while. So go follow him and send him a message. Tell him he should post more because honestly his stuff is just too good not to post. I'd love for Eric to come on the channel one day and teach one of these flourishes, by the way. Like this video if you agree. Before we get into teaching how this move works, I just want to acknowledge the original trailer to this and a bit of an Easter egg. This trailer was shot in Toronto by none other than Peter McKinnon. Here we go. So blue and green. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric Somatis and this so is So blue Twitch. and green. Twitch is a uh, color change, card switch, and also a tournament restored card. We're gonna go ahead and take a look right now. Boom, so clean. I like how he's using uh, Dan and Dave cards in the Theory 11 trailer. <laughs> Look at those lens flares. Now for some of you who don't know this, Peter McKinnon was once face behind many of the magic industry's trailers for their moves and their cards and their pictures. And also Andre Zik used to work for Theory 11 as well. I mean, there's a whole stack of secret magician YouTubers out there. You figure it out. That was a bit of a flash from the past, not gonna lie. Let's get into teaching uh, this move and the different uses for it. By the way, this is the first download I ever purchased from Theory 11. These are the first cards I ever purchased from Theory 11. These are the Monarchs, probably the, one of the prettiest decks out there. Look at that back design. The box is dope. I mean, these were a little bit ahead of its time uh, with the gold foiling and embossing and everything else. They, uh, they made a whole bunch of different ones. They made these gold ones here, which look dope as well. Withstood the test of time. One of my favorite all-time decks. Uh, you can check them out. I'll leave the link below to the Monarchs where you guys can, you guys can have a look for yourselves. There are a few parts to this trick that you need to be familiar with before we go ahead and perform it. Uh, the first of which is a, the very basics of card magic. You're gonna need to perform a double lift. Uh, you can use any type of double lift you want. I like the push off double lift, which is basically just using my thumb to push off two cards and turn the cards as one. Um, you can also do a strike double lift. You can do whatever you want, as long as you get two cards instead of one. Make sure those cards are contrasting as well to give it a nice change. First thing you wanna do here is your double lift to get ready. Now, mind you, the spectator is in front of you. They're not gonna be standing at this angle. This is the exposed angle. So you have the, the cards in your hand like you normally would. You're showing them the card. You're going to pass it off to your right hand or your dominant hand. 
and you're going to grip it like this. So my thumb is on the bottom, ring finger, middle finger right here, kind of like this. What you're going to need to practice is taking the first card here and rotating it to the front of the deck. So what's happening here is that the card is going this way and as you reach the edge of the deck, it's turning. So it's kind of rotating on your middle finger and then it's turning. And so it's kind of laying flat on the deck and that's what they're seeing. They're not gonna see this, it's important, we'll get into angles after, but it's important not to show them this side. And when you practice that, I like to, uh, and you can put a little bit of saliva on the end of your finger and dry it off a little bit so it's a little bit stickier. And when you get to that point, uh, one thing you can do is just kind of prep it, so get it ready so that way you're not taking two cards and then put it up. So when you get really good at that, it'll just, it'll just be one quick motion. So it even looks like a card appearance from the front. The card's just appearing out of nowhere, right? Just like that. This is gonna be a little tricky. Basically what's gonna happen is once you do this, you're going to relocate your middle finger to hold this card and your index is going to come back and make contact with the next one. And you're essentially gonna do the same move over, except this time as you're going, the middle finger is going, and it's very hard to do slowly, I just realized. So one, Middle finger grabs that, and now this one's getting ready to come around, okay? So again, you wanna get your double lift, boom, there's one. Middle finger now holds it, okay? Index is gonna come and replace that middle finger. Now, what's gonna happen, it's not gonna line up exactly like the first one did. So for instance, when I do this, you see how the deck's kind of this way? By doing that, the deck kind of tilts a little bit for me. You just kind of follow that motion. So boom, and then boom, right? As long as those two cards are the same angle, that's all that matters. Now it's gonna take a, a lot of practice, maybe a little bit of practice, I don't know, depending on your skill level. You wanna get this move down. That's the most important. Once you're there, middle finger holds that against there and as the middle finger rotates that one makes way for the other card first it's going to be slow and sloppy but after you get the hang of it uh it's kind of what it's going to look like from the back so you go boom just like that now the cleanup here uh basically to hide everything and you're left in this kind of awkward position here you're going to take your left hand after you're done performing it your left hand's gonna come grab the cards here. So your thumb's gonna come inside here, grab this card. And this uh, this card that's here on your index finger, so it's kind of stuck on your index between your middle finger. Once you grab that, you're just going to take that card and rotate it like that. So it's a nice little cleanup, which is something I like about this move. So once, once you've done the move, boom, you grab this and it kind of cleans up everything nicely. Let's get into angles and then we'll do the torn and restorn, uh, torn and restorn, torn and restored card. So for the angles, you can see right now, I'm showing too much because I'm showing this. So you always want to keep it like this. Just, just make sure you don't flash that. Keep it like that, okay? So once you're here, you've done your double lift, you lift up so you don't show them that second card. That card comes up. And then, boom. Now you can grab the deck and close it off. So again, one. And if you wanna add like a bit of a shake, that's fine too, as long as you don't shake it to where you see this card. So you can give it a shake. Now this move requires uh, speed. The faster you do it, the better. It's one of those rare sleight of hand moves. Normally like smoothness takes over. This one just requires speed. The faster you can do it, the more fooling it is. It's kind of like a snap change. If you do a snap change super slow, it's not gonna look too good. If you do a snap change fast, it looks better. 
And if you add a flick to that snap change, it hides a lot of the, the motion. That's something you can do as well here when performing. You got here and you can flick it. Let's do it without flashing this time. So you're here and boom. So by flicking it, it adds just a little bit more cover to the actual move itself. Now let's get into the torn and restored version of this change. So for this, we're gonna do, uh, you're gonna need a duplicate card. However, I don't have one here. So we're just gonna use uh, these two here, okay? These need to be the same card normally, especially with a torn corner, we're all familiar uh, with tricks that use this side of the playing card. Uh, but for this one, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to tear off the other corner, just because it doesn't it doesn't work otherwise. You're gonna place the duplicate under the torn duplicate over with the torn corner to you. All right, here's where the move comes in. Boom, same exact thing. You're going to show the corner, and as you come around, boom, that goes behind. Now, once that's behind, you can go ahead and pawn that off if you like, so you can show this card to be completely restored. Kind of what it looks like. It, it is knacky to get that perfect moment. Um, so once you're here, you're gonna kind of simulate the action of these two pieces going together. And basically, it's gonna come behind the card, okay? Suppose you don't even need a duplicate card. You could just use the back of a card if you like to. Boom showing this corner and in the action of poom, coming together, it's like you're kind of restoring it magically, just like that. That's basically how that works. Practice that, it's kind of like this move where uh, you make a card sort of appear on the side, kind of like that, but except you're doing it with your index finger and again, I like to prep a little bit, just boom. Up, and as soon as that one's done, boom. So that is Twitch Change by Eric Simatis. Uh, so much fun actually teaching a move again. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Oh yeah, all right. I need to practice more obviously. And if you wanna see more tutorials, um, be happy to teach you guys something new or something old, either way. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the tutorial for Twitch. I haven't put up a card tutorial in the longest time and it feels so good. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Leave a like, comment, share it, subscribe, all that stuff if you wanna see more tutorials. I'm slowly feeling like I need to get back into some sleight of hand here. And uh, I've, I've, been, I've been going down the rabbit hole on YouTube with these older sleight of hand videos and it's got me inspired again. So feeling good about it. Definitely check out Eric Somatis' Instagram, as I mentioned. Tell him to get back on Instagram and start posting. His stuff's too dope to ignore. Thank you to Theory 11 for allowing me to teach this. Uh, as I mentioned, you can check out their playing cards in the link in the description. Uh, a whole plethora of playing cards for you to discover. Thanks guys, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Bye.